Hi, it's lesson number 11. Um, I just want to give you a little pep talk before we start today. I am super happy that you are, have made it to lesson 11. I think passing 10 lessons is a pretty good accomplishment and learning something new is hard, so I'm proud of you for sticking with it. Um, and just really, um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything, um, even if, if you just want to get to know me a little bit or let me get to know you a little bit, I would love to hear from you. Um, you can just use the contact form on the website. So anyways, I just really love teaching, um, but this is kind of a weird way to teach because you don't get to know your students very well. And that was the best part of teaching. So anyways, we're going to do um, pages 82 through 89 today, and we only have a few new concepts. So... It's three songs and um, should go pretty good. So what we're learning today, um, we've actually covered. So we're doing the space notes on the treble clef and they spell face, space spells face. So if you remember those, so these are being added into our note repertoire. Um, so it's giving us a few little warm up things. It says starting on the mid F above middle C, play and say the treble space notes F, A, C, E, going up and going down. So they're just asking you to come down here. We're gonna find, here's our people house. Oh, I need to turn my piano on. <laughs> All right, here's our people house. So our front door is the F. It'll come on in just a second. Um, F, A, C, E, okay, E, C, A, F. So this is where we're talking about today. These are the space notes in the treble clef. Um, then it asks you, are you playing seconds or thirds? So what do you think? All right, we're playing thirds. This would be a second, this is a third. All right, so we're gonna dive right into this first song, Moon on the Water. It says it would like you to name the notes. So you can go ahead and write those in this first, this first section here. Um, there are a few things in this song. It starts at mezzo forte. It's three four timing, so it's kind of a waltzy sounding song. Um, it's got some crescendos and a diminuendo. There's a few of them through here. Uh, this is a an echo, so it's gonna play the same thing but just quieter. Another crescendo here. Your left hand is gonna go over as you play here. And you're going to just cross over your left to play that E and then play the C with your right. So it does that a couple times. Um, and then it's mezzo forte, mezzo piano, diminuendo down to piano. Okay. Now, if you'll notice also, there's a pedal line. And <laughs> you never lift your pedal, it just keeps on going. So just hold that pedal down. So it's going to be your right sustain pedal. Okay. All right, let's give this a go. So my left hand starts on five finger on F. Okay, so thumb on middle C. And then my right hand is going to be in an F position as well. Okay, so thumb starting on F. We have a couple eighth notes in there. So, all right, I'll count us off. One, two, three. Over If you notice here at the bottom, it gives you an extra little thing. If you like to, you can transpose this song to the notes of the C pentascale. So what you would do, if you were to do that, you'd... So this is actually an F chord that's been broken up. So you're gonna kind of change it to the C chord. So, all right, 
so you can do that if you'd like to as a little extra added activity. Now this song, we're not learning anything new. This is a really pretty little tune. Um, so we're kind of just adding together a lot of things that we've already learned. So um, we have a few repeats in here. So you're gonna come through, you're gonna play this twice. Uh, the second time you play this, the first time is loud, the second time is soft. So this section you play twice. Coming over here, you've got mezzo forte, and then forte, and then piano down at the bottom. So, uh, there's really not much else in there. Um, so let's, yeah, I'll give you an example. 500 year old melody is 4-4 timing, and we'll start with our, our thumb on middle C here, and our thumb on D on the right hand. So, um, I'll just give you an example. One, two, ready, go. this first time. Okay, so um, a couple things to just make sure you watch for in here. Um, people have a tendency to not hold notes long enough. So you have a few notes in here that you really have to hold for the four counts. As you do the, the teacher duet on the website, this kind of helps keep you accountable to hold your notes the right amount of time and to stay with the beat. So um, I would suggest on all of these songs doing the teacher duet, that's a really great way for you to make sure that you're playing your songs correctly. Um, and yes, great, <laughs> moving on, um, oh, and I was going to say one more thing, I, uh, you probably have noticed this already, but I have a tendency to speed up songs as I'm playing, so I apologize if I do that, um, that's one of my flaws as a pianist, is I'll start out, you know, the right pace, and then I just get faster and faster, so, um, try not to do that, even though I am. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and learn the F chord, which we've kind of already done a little bit. So um, it says, on the piano, find the F major chord with your left hand as shown on the keyboard. So in our left, we're gonna put our thumb on middle C, just the same position that we were in, okay? And then it asks us to practice this little warm up here. So this is what it looks like. You've got your pinky, pinky on F, thumb on C, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, together. Sorry. Together, together, middle. Together, together, middle, then all together. And an important thing about chords is making sure that you play all of them down at the same time. Sometimes you get a little messy in there, so make sure your hand is strong position is good, still in a curved position, and you play those down at the same time. So we're going to do this Reveille. Um, it's got some fun timing, dun 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 dun, and it's very familiar hopefully to you, 
And through here we have some chords. These are tied, so you will play it one time and hold it for those six counts, eight counts, pardon me. Here's another tie. Here's another tie, so we've got some ties. Um, we have some dynamics, just a few. It's mostly loud, because this is a bugle call, so um, I'm gonna give you an example. All right, I'm gonna count us off. This is, uh, the first note is on the upbeat, so we're gonna count three and then begin. One, two, three. teacher do it on the website once you're ready. We're going to do these next two pages, the three minute technique um, and music theory. This just gives us, this um, gives us a little extra help in remembering and learning a couple new things. So we're going to talk about arpeggios. Um, this comes from the Italian word for harp. To play an arpeggio, play the notes of a chord one after another going up or down the keyboard. So these are really just broken chords. Um, Arpeggios are used very frequently in music, so they're a good thing to learn. We're gonna just do the basic chord first. And then it goes up to your right. And then you're gonna cross your left over your right, hit that F, and then come back down. back up and do <clears throat> an echo back up same thing okay so it asks you to do that starting in the in F on an F chord and then you're gonna move and begin on an E begin on a D and then begin on a C and do the same thing da -da 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 okay the thing too to look for in these is to make sure that it's smooth transition from your right to your left um, that you're not pausing in between switches that you keep your beat okay um, another thing that you can do um, and this is for all of your songs and all your music there's there's a beat keeper called a metronome and you can actually just access a free metronome on your phone just type in metronome um, online and it'll pop up so if you if you ever want to turn that on and keep your beat that is a great way to to do that Okay, so then you're gonna have to name your notes over here, and you're gonna write in the counts under these. So one and two, <laughs> one and two, and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so you'll write those in. And then um, it says tap or clap, counting loud, then sight read. So you're gonna play those as well. Um, this next part I'm going to do with you really quick. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these notes and I'm going to either play up a third or down a third. And you just get to listen. Okay, so I'm going to play the note first and then either go up or down and you need to choose which one I did. And we'll fill that in. So here's the first note. Play it one more time. Okay, so... I played down, so you're going to draw that note in down. Okay, it's down again. That one will be up, and then D. That one is down. Okay, in this last little bit, um, this you'll have to use the website for. This is an improvisation practice. So you're going to play on the FACE that we've been working on. 
and you get to just make up a little tune along with the teacher duet. So this is for you to play with. Um, it, it helps you start kind of composing music and listening and hearing how things sound good together, um, what sounds good and what doesn't. So I would recommend doing that on the teacher website. As for the book, that is the last we're gonna do in our book, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little extra assignment. Um, so for our extra activity today, we're going to do the D scale, both hands together this time. We did hands separate last time, and if you remember, D scale has an F sharp and a C sharp, and it's the same fingering as C and G. So we're going to move down from middle C one octave so we can start a little lower, and we'll play with the beat. So I'm gonna give you, hopefully, a good example of this. Uh, my scales have not been the best lately, so here we go. Okay, I'm pretty proud of myself that I did that. <laughs> I've been practicing, actually. Okay, so... Um, the next set, the second activity that we're going to do today is the wheels on the bus is going to be our, our tune that we're working on for ear training and we're going to do it in the key of D. Um, so we have to get the, let's get the right hand tune first, the wheel. on that. <laughs> um, it's going to take a minute, so I'm going to give you a couple clues here. It's going to start on A, okay? And you have those two sharps in your key signature. Oh, I'm going to do a seven chord there. you want but uh, go ahead and do that and good luck good luck this week I hope you practice a lot um, and be consistent find a time that you can practice every day um, and that will help you learn and grow the fastest so good luck <laughs>